Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by today. This is Sandy from Color Creatively and I have two books that I want to do a flip through of here for you. Um, this is by Jason Hamilton. He's an independent artist and this is volume one and volume two. And these are mandalas. Um, if you're interested in mandalas, that uh, the book starts from simple and it goes uh, gets progressively more difficult as you move on, more complex. If you're interested in a book like that, then these might be for you. I just want to give you a quick flip through of these two books. Now, in book one, I couldn't stand it. Uh, at night, I've already colored four of these. So uh, we'll come across that. I haven't colored anything in volume two yet. But I am really, really thrilled with these books. And they are priced under less than a lot of coloring books. Uh, they're great. They, they are on um, an Amazon type paper, but they're not printed by Amazon. Let me move my computer. They're not com printed by Amazon. Um, they're independently printed, but it's still great. You, I, I used fine liners and I used alcohol markers on here. So let's get going. And he's given you a color swatch page here to test your um, mediums. And these are single-sided pages. They're not perforated. And the book is not uh, an 8.5 by 11. It's a little different size. Let me show you. I'm going to do a flip through of this one next. It's a little bit different size here, but you know what? That's the size I love. It's like a travel size, but it's not small like some of the travel sizes. Okay. Um, he always has a cat as his logo. And uh, let's just go through this. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Let me see if I'm on camera here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Huh? Well, I guess not. Okay, whatever. As long as you can see the pictures here. Uh, this has jewels in it. Um, I'm gemstones and diamonds. I'm going to try doing a video on that. This one I did with alcohol markers the other night. Just had fun. Um, I think his mandalas are just absolutely, or mandalas, however you want to say it, are just gorgeous. I love them. Let me zoom in a little bit more so some of these you could see up close. Um, there we go. That looks a little bit better. And this with the black in there, I and this one, I really, really like that too. It makes your colors pop. I don't know how many designs are in here. It doesn't say on the back of the book, but it's a pretty thick little book, both of them. So they're quite cost effective and they're beautiful. This one I did the other night. This is with fine liners. They did... Uh, you know, come through a little bit, but that's okay. They're single-sided, and that's the point of this book. I love these mandalas from Jason Hamilton. I highly recommend this book. It's just a beautiful, beautiful book. Okay. I don't want to say anything about each one, maybe once in a while. This one has beautiful, like a tulip-like flower in it. So, we're just going to give you a quick flip through here and let you get a taste for his type of art. And um, I love them. I've enjoyed the four I've colored so far. Um, I love his books very much. So, and hearts. I noticed the theme of hearts appear a lot in his work. And they're just gorgeous. If you like mandalas, you're going to love this book. And the other one, volume two. Okay, here's hearts again that appear. Um, he has a theme of hearts. And I know things, um, his logo is cats, flowers. This is uh, gorgeous here. Hearts again. 
and these are little tiny circles. That is so unique. They look like they're lace, some of his um, line work. So beautiful and so detailed. And these are more detailed in the back than in the front. Oh, I love this one. And this one was done with my fine liners. And this one was done with my fine liners. I'm finding fine liners work good in this book because there's a lot of small spaces and some a lot of detail for you to color. Or you could use Prismacolor Very Thin Pencils, which I have. I'm going to try that next. And... Um, of course, regular colored pencil. Now, this is the last one, and this is the most detailed one in the bunch, but I want to do this because I think it's going to come out gorgeous. Here's his website. You can download free prints from him, from his other books. So let's move on to volume two, and then I'll give you a look. I love the covers. They're different colors different color of and different mandalas but they're beautiful and this half is colored differently than that half here's his logo again with the cat and if you have any questions or you want to have free downloads go to jasonhamilton.inc ink okay and he has the swatch chart again in this one and again they start from simpler and then they become more complex as you go. There are no two alike. They're all totally different. Here's hearts again. He has just, uh, it's amazing how he can have so many uh, mandalas or mandalas and have so many different ideas and not make them the same or repeat. This has jewels in it. We're going to have to color jewels and gemstones. Don't know how to do that yet, or haven't done that yet, I should say. Okay, just hearts again on the outside here. And these leaf-looking shapes do not have to be colored green. They can be colored anything your hearts desire. This paper is single-sided. You can use your alcohol markers. You can use your fine liners. You can use your pencils. You can use just about anything on here that you like. And they're just, um, I don't know what to say, very beautiful, um, lace-like to me, some of them. His designs are very imaginative. And beautiful. So if you are in for a mandala book and you don't know which ones to buy, I would recommend these. They're fun. They're beautiful. They're simple. And then if you want the more detailed ones, they have that in here too. Whatever you're looking for. So, we're almost at the end. There's quite a few drawings in here. I haven't counted them, but these books are fairly thick. They're not a thin little uh, smaller book for the money, and they're priced very reasonable. You couldn't go wrong buying one of Jason's books. This is my first time of seeing every single picture in here. I've thumbed through this, but now I'm seeing it for the first time. Every uh, mandala, oh gosh, they're beautiful. The Art of Mandala, here's, he's advertising volume one. And that's it. And I just wanted to give you a quick, quick, flip through of The Art of Mandala by Jason Hamilton, Volume 1 and Volume 2. So if you're in the market for a mandala book that does not cost a lot, please check this out. I bought these on Amazon.com. These were not given to me. They are purchased with my own money, and this is my, strictly my own opinion. 
So I just want to say happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and until we meet again, happy coloring.